have a lot of fun, Pennsylvania. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's back in the spotlight once again with this year's November 2022 midterm elections. Retiring Republican Senator Pat Toomey has vacated his Senate seat. The race to replace him has become one of the most expensive and vicious within the cycle this year. On the Democrat side, the candidate is likely to be John Fetterman, Pennsylvania's current lieutenant governor. But the race for the Republican candidate has exposed deep fault lines within the GOP. Many Republicans view this Senate primary race as an indicator of Donald Trump's enduring influence over his party and, crucially, his base. I was at an event with two of the leading candidates, Kathy Barnett and Dr. Oz. I'm excited about the candidates. I think we have a lot of really good candidates to choose from, which is opposite than what I've seen in previous elections, where you have maybe one or two and you feel like you're picking the lesser of an evil. Can I hear that? I spoke with supporters who had different views on the candidates. What I like about these candidates yeah. is that they all support America. I think if we all work together up there, it should be a good, 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 good deal. The elections will determine control of Congress and therefore Joe Biden's remaining mandate. Right now we're treating Biden as if he's king. What is Biden going to do? What is Biden going to do? I wonder what Biden is going to do. Biden is not king. I'm not interested in compromise anymore. I think we've compromised enough as conservatives in this country, and that's why we're in the position we're in with the person we have in the office, the Oval Office today. Donald Trump has endorsed Dr. Mehmet Oz. Dr. Oz is a man who truly believes in the MAGA movement. He believes it 100%. A reality TV doctor who shot to fame on a daytime TV series. Love Dr. Oz, yeah. as you see. He's my guy. That's, he's Trump endorsed him. I like Dr. Oz also. I like a lot of things about Donald Trump. I liked him in, before Trump endorsed him. As soon as he did, that was my 100% vote. Dr. Oz has promised to embrace Donald Trump's Make America Great Again platform. When you save the soul of Pennsylvania, you see the soul of America. Promising to campaign and govern as an America First candidate. You can't be free if you're not brave. But Donald Trump was booed recently when he campaigned for Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania. Some fear that Dr. Oz is a secret liberal and that his current stance on issues like abortion and gun rights is contrary to his previous positions on the issues. His past, you know, comments, reported things, his, you know, uh, viewpoints on his talk show don't seem conservative in nature. Many are instead embracing Kathy Barnett. That is what the role of the Senate is supposed to be once seen as the underdog in this race, is now in the spotlight, with polls showing that she's had a late surge in the race. Do you understand that?